Hello guys, do you guys recognize this place? Reconocen este cuarto donde Paula siempre graba? This is like the room where Paula always films. If you guys can hear someone cutting the grass, I'm sorry about that, but hello. Welcome back to a new video. Si hablan en español, sepan que les tengo videos planeados muy cool en español, así que stay tuned for those. O sea, no es que los esté ignorando. I promise you, tengo cosas planeadas. Pero ahora sí, ¿por qué estoy en este baño? Why am I in this room? So basically, around a year ago, I think there was like water leaking from our bathrooms or something like that, so they had to fix that, but they didn't do the best job. It was like very tacky. There was like tiles that weren't like put together the correct way there was pieces missing i don't know it was just very messy very tacky i showered there like once and the water literally transferred to the second floor all over my dogs which is kind of funny but also really bad so yeah um they have to fix that problem they're finally doing such a better job not to be a hater or anything but last time i don't know i feel like you can already tell a huge difference between like the workers and stuff because last time it was very messy like i could barely even sleep there because there was so much dust and then this time everything's just like way clean I will try to show you guys more of the progress and how that goes because I'm not gonna be filming them while they're working like no I'll just like film after or something. I don't know. Um, what else am I gonna do today? Oh, yeah I took a lot of stuff out of my closet that I want to donate It's like sometimes my mom literally goes to Costco and she will buy me a lot of pajamas I never wear them because I don't know what's about Costco fabric that I'm allergic to it I don't know. So basically I'm just sitting there in my room I also have to do a depot package if you guys watch my videos you already know this year but if you guys don't know what the series is, this year is a perfume brand. So let me show you guys some of the perfumes that they sent me. So this is what the Dossier perfumes look like. They come in this perfect little box that's the perfect size for a gift. And I was even thinking about giving one of this to my mom. So when you open them, they come look like this. They oh, usually say iconic essence design quality, no markups, and they come with this paper right here which tells you which perfume they were inspired by. So this one, let me show you this one right here. See? This one is like a mix of cherry, almond, cinnamon, cloves, roses, jasmine, plum. Perfect. Okay, this perfume is Ambery Cherry. And let's smell it. Do, 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 do. This one is pretty girly. Actually, I feel like my mom would really like this one, which is kind of sad because I also really like it. But me and my mom like kind of like the same perfumes. So I'm thinking about giving this one to her, which is kind of sad because I want to keep it for myself. But I think she would really like this. It's so soft, so elegant. I love it. Here we have the second perfume. This year also sent me their new diffuser and I left it in my bathroom and it smelled so amazing. It's probably one of my favorite things ever now because every time I walk into my bathroom, it smells so good and it's like nice and refreshing and I'm just like, oh, I need a new one. Every time I walk into my bathroom, it smells so good. And I feel like when my friends walk into my bathroom, it's like, yes. Back to the perfumes, aromatic watermelon. This is what it looks like. The packaging is very cute. This one is definitely a more masculine smell, but it's not very strong to the point that you get sick of it. It's like very nice and subtle. Like, you know, it's like the perfect amount. So this is what floral pearl looks like. This one is definitely very elegant, very floral. I love how it actually stays true to its name. Very natural. This one is gourmet orange pearl. Blossom. Oh, I remember this being one of my favorite ones last time on the last video. Love this one so much because it actually smells like orange and it's like, I don't know, it's very girly. Love how they're the perfect size for traveling. Look at that color tint. This one is Woody Sage. Woody Sage is like the perfect amount of woody. It's not too overdone like other perfumes. And what I also love about this year is that their perfumes are definitely made for everyone. Last but not least, the sixth perfume, which is oh, Citrus. Citrusy is definitely a very natural smell as well. It definitely captures the summer vibes and I love how Dossier always stays true to their name So it's also very easy to pick a perfume and like you know what you're getting, you know But yeah, if you guys want to go check Dossier out I actually have a code for you which is coming out 5 and I will also leave the link down below Thank you so much Dossier. I truly appreciate this. I love your smells. I love everything about them. Thank you As I'm filming this, my mom just starts like 
talking over me. It's just one of those days. But yeah, today I woke up, my ear was super clogged and I had to literally, I spent half the day trying to find a solution to unclog my ears, to clear my ears. I just have too much earwax and like it keeps building up all the time and it's super annoying. But yeah, I finally figured it out and it worked and I finally got my hearing back. And yeah, now we're going to First Friday and I'm just gonna hope that I have a good day. guys so they finally finished our bathroom so I'm gonna show you also today's Mother's Day so I'm getting ready for that okay so the reason why I went to Ikea is because I wanted to change that light because I really hate it how my other lamp look on pictures so I think it's really cute I like it and then I also got, so I always wanted a carpet like this. I always thought I was going to get a giant one, but then I saw this small one because I didn't want to cover the wood because I really like the wood floor in my room. So yeah, that's what I got from Ikea. I think it looks pretty cool. I really want to sell that because I'm not really feeling the gold in my room anymore. So yeah, I think the carpet looks really cute for pictures. I also don't love this like mirror doors when I'm filming, but okay, I'll show you guys the bathroom in a second because I need to take these rollers off and I need to clean the bathroom to show you because it's really a mess. And I don't want you guys to see the bathroom for the first time looking like a mess. Like I don't really care about showing my mess, but but since it's the first time that you guys are going to see the bathroom, I want you guys to see it all nice and cute and clean. So yeah, I'm going to take this off and get ready and I'll see you guys in a second. I'm finally done getting ready. The bathroom is even messier now. And my sister's just left like right now to give my grandma her Mother's Day gift. And yeah, I was also running late because I didn't expect this hair to take me so long. And I was going to have more time, but then I helped Paola wax herself. And that's why I'm late. But honestly, the hair looks pretty good. I'm not even late. Like, I didn't know they wanted to go to my grandma's house right now, but at least we're looking good. Okay, guys, so bathroom review. One, two, three. Oh, we can finally shower in our bathroom. I had to shower in my mom's bathroom for the longest time because the first people who did our bathroom did such a bad, messy job. As you guys can see, this is the first part of the bathroom. They didn't really do the greatest job. Maybe we can get this fixed in the future, but what we got fixed, as you guys can see, like the floor is pretty bad. It's not very even. The pattern doesn't really match in some spots what we had to get fixed was the floor right here because the water was literally passing onto the second floor and the people who did our bathroom before they literally left this so uneven there was holes on this it was pretty bad even when you open and close this door it felt like it was gonna break and now it's pretty nice and stiff like it doesn't feel like it's gonna break on me i also ran yesterday with my mom to home depot and i got these which i don't love because they look pretty big but i feel like they keep that french new york vibe which i wanted for the bathroom me and paula that was our inspo my mom also forced me to get one of those like telephone showers but i already had a pretty nice one but she said this one would be better to like clean the bathroom and all of that and yeah everything just matches like this together me and paula really want to go to ikea because we want to get something nice to put there to organize all of our stuff because as you guys can see it's all over all over the floor but yeah that's our little bathroom update hopefully we can get this fixed in the future and the floor as well but i think that i'm just like really happy to finally be able to shower in my bathroom because i just really needed my own shower so happy about that
Okay, so I literally looked dead right now, but let me give you guys a little update. So me, Paola, and my grandpa, we went to Ikea and we got some stuff for our bathroom. So let me show you. Okay, so we got this little baby carpet. I think it's like the perfect fit. We also got this little soap holder. We literally need a cute soap. Like we're about to start buying cute looking products. Okay, set of filler is the best product, but I don't know how I feel about that set of filler. Then we also got this window cleaner. We put it right there because I feel like it blends in and you can't really see it. Jenny was like, why don't you guys just put it on the floor? But I feel like it looks kind of messy on the floor. You can't really see it like that, you know? It kind of just like blends in. And yeah, that's our bathroom.